myself with it. Darkness Hi, I'm Reese, and I'm Sophie, and welcome back to our Evil Within playthrough series of the Consequence DLC. I hope you enjoy as we scream and run around. Cheated by the game. <laughs> okay, we've got four monsters and one axe. We're going to be doing this by distraction more than anything. Go for a painting. Deal with one. Go for that one. Yeah. Oh. Throw it over there into that I corner. I created this world. Oh. You are brave. You throw the ball down. <laughs> I was like, throw the ball, and you're like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking I didn't want to waste it. I know, but, but I think I didn't if we it. threw it into that corner, they'd all migrate over there, and then we could burn the painting. Yeah. Go in here, and then try and work out how to get to the next one. There's a bottle there, you see. Hello. Hey, they don't seem to be around here. No. I think we might get away with burning this one before they get back. You cannot keep me here. Hurry up! Where are they? I can see red splodges everywhere. Okay, they're coming. That was close. That was close. I don't know if you've done this. Huh? I don't know how you've done this, but now we've got the first painting. You have to get the rest. Where are they? There's one. There were definitely four last time. There were definitely four. There still is four. I've seen three of them so far. I don't know where the fourth one came from. Maybe there wasn't four, but it looked like a lot of bodies. One. As soon as he turns his back, go out there and axe him. Yeah. Because it's better to get one out of the way. You see nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really here. Go for it. No, because it's him. Oh my god, didn't see him. It's easy not to spot them, isn't it? They kind of blend in. Okay, now. Okay, I think they've all gone. You're on the wrong side. Oh no, you're right. This is really tense because I can't see where they are. Run, kid man! Oh no. Does that mean all. Oh no, that means all the monsters have gone. All the monsters haven't gone, by the way. You What's can't, happening? can't get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Not here. You were like. It can't see his behind Leslie, it's alright. <laughs> oh. Spider legs. Spider legs. I told you she was coming back, I had a feeling. Leslie, no. Please don't. He shot Rubik. Ooh. Is this why we're such good pals? <laughs> it's all right. Everything's gonna be fine. I hope. Now you've got your gun back. Where did Leslie even Where get did it? Leslie get the gun? Because I didn't have it. Why didn't she just shoot him then and there? Probably because she didn't Not feel safe. like she could. Hurry! This way! Not after you Do just you want to kick on the door? Yeah. Oh. oh! Puzzle. 
Oh, but where the... No, oh, is this just yeah, a lights out this one? this just lights out. Yeah, look, you've got two turns left. Where does it say your turns? At the ah, bottom. Yeah. Oh, but is this lights on or lights out? I think you've got to get them all on. Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, let's Congrats, see. by the way, on finishing that section. Thank you. <laughs> that was so funny when I was like, that monster's still there, and you were like, quick, <laughs> you can't see me. <laughs> that sidestep was classic. Classic me style. Yeah. Um, this is harder than yours, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Leslie, I've just got to play with this yeah. lights out game for a moment. Then I'll come and console you. Things is, she shoots him in the park, but she could have just shot him right then. But he did just save her life. No. Um, trying to get more lights on, not off. Then get the one next to it, right at the bottom. Oh. Are you seeing any way of doing that? Let me have a go. Okay. In <laughs> this kind of section, you're happy to take control. Huh. Yes. Difficult, isn't it? Yeah, I was I was doing okay until I got up to this top corner. Hmm. Because that turns on those two, which is problematic. <laughs> I mean, what turns on that one? Like that. Hmm. Because for each one you click, all the surrounding ones will change state. Hmm. than yours. <laughs> Let's start with that. <laughs> there is nothing you can press to make all those lights turn on. Maybe it is lights out. Should we try to get lights out? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would work either uh, somehow. There you go, you can have another go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Now what do I do? Um, Maybe um, do what you did in the bottom corner. Then take that one at the corner, not the next to it. Well that will take out that one. Yeah, no, and then you click on the other one. Yes! Oh, thank you. It's all right. I couldn't see it myself until you were doing it. Because you were on the right path. I was just following the force. Yeah, the force He's got you. reflection. Is it? In the... Over? Floor. Is it over? Really, Gidman? Is this truly the exit? The exit <laughs> from this nightmare? Chapel, white fog. Oh, there's movie fun posters. Beyond and back again. You ready for your showdown with Joseph? I hope that bastard doesn't come back. For your sake, Leslie. <laughs> you know, she had. A, she didn't have as many encounters with Rubik as um, Sebastian did. No, no, she hasn't. But I've got a feeling that, that that we've not seen the last of Ruvik in her story. I think, if anything, no. it's, he's going to become more prevalent now that Torchface is gone. Yes. But like I said, I think Ruvik's struggled to get hold of Kidman, if that makes sense. He's, had, well, yeah, she he's not been able to control her. Assuming like that injection thing mm. was real, then there's something that essentially mm. makes her somewhat immune to him. Here we go. This is the park scene.
Leslie can go home? Can take the train all the way home? No, Leslie. Not today. You'll... protect me? Yes. That's my job. Good, good, good. When I get home, they'll be... surprised. Oh, she sees something different to mm -hmm. what we saw when Sebastian was there. She sees that Ruvik's actually in him, doesn't she? It's not your fault. I'm sorry. Stop! You're making a terrible mistake. Um, that's not Sebastian. You don't understand. Or Joseph. You don't know what he'll become. We know exactly what he'll become. That's why we need him. You don't understand what Ruvik is after. Rubik is a corpse! He's after Leslie. And so are we. And you're more afraid of him than us? Don't patronize me. I have orders. But I can't let him have this boy. Leslie is the only one who can... She didn't mean to. No. No. She meant to shoot Leslie. Yeah. Joseph ran in front. Ah. <laughs> oh. Showdown with Leslie. <laughs> this looks like Moby's headquarters again. Yeah. Because it looks like Mass Effect. <laughs> <laughs> great. Just great. This is getting really exciting. <laughs> Let's just have a little sit down. I do like the moments where you sit down with the cat. <laughs> It do make you feel so much better. <laughs> she looks so happy. It's time to and move. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. So at this point, Sebastian's in the subway. We're at Beacon Mental Hospital. And we've already made it to Beacon Mental Hospital. So there's a figure over there. Hmm. <laughs> That's because he's Ruvik, isn't he? Yeah. Oh shit. He's too far gone. I've got to stop him. Do you have a gun? Yeah, you do, with no bullets. With no bullets. So, Sebastian has to trek all the way through the subway, kill that horrible monster, the invisible one. Mm -hmm. Whereas Kidman gets a free pass here. But when Sebastian gets here, there's no enemies. No. And it's because she's dead. cleared them all out, hasn't she? Yeah. We've got an axe. We have. Okay. And there's one there. Oh, you are so daring right now. <laughs> I would never make this choice. It's probably why you're better at stealth than me. You make daring choices. <laughs> that one's gonna see us, by the way. Is there only two left? I think so. Well, that's not too bad, is it? Do you think you have to kill them all? I don't know. I really don't. I don't think you can move through right now. Please, we go a different way. You might walk past us and not see us. This could be wishful thinking. This is definitely wishful thinking. Let me out! I 
would give up on the door. I would give up on the door. <laughs> I have a feeling we might have missed some stuff in there. I feel like we missed some stuff in there. Answer our questions. What are you afraid of? What could haunt you so? What could you need that only we could be the ones to fill it? Was your waste of life something you wished to return to? Are you not grateful for what we've done for you? We let you into our circle. We gave you a new life. Why will you turn your back on us? Why will you not stand with us? <laughs> They're just gonna keep laughing like that. I think so. And I can't even open this door. Let me get out of here. I think we have to listen to him laugh. <laughs> If only. Yeah, <laughs> shoot the screen. Why can't I leave? Can he leave through the door where all the zombies are? <laughs> Can I do anything here? No! <laughs> Shut up and get out of the way! How did she not get electrocuted? <sighs> oh. That, that's changed things. That is a loud motorbike. That is a loud motorbike. <laughs> Apologies for the motorbike. <laughs> it's not part of the game. <laughs> um, okay. These are the experiments they did, I assume, at the hospital. Will we learn about Tatiana? Oh! There's a red thing. See if you can shine your torch on it. A red thing? Um, uh, uh yeah. Mm. I assume we have to be in there, don't we? Yeah. Leslie. What is this revealing to us? The patients are dying when connected to the machine? What are you implying, Jimenez? After what you did to him, now all of this is just conjecture. But it's as if Ruben's consciousness remains trapped inside Stem, and he's attacking anyone attempting to enter. This is inexcusable. We need to get around this. We can't have come all this way for nothing. Ruvik. He was in Stem all along. Well, he's not gonna get me. Because they want Leslie out, so they can continue their research. But they don't seem to accept the fact that Ruvik is in there and a threat. They no, think that he they, has to be dead. They have something else in mind for Leslie, don't they? They have mm. some kind of use for him because of him be showing, being described as compatible or whatnot. Being a blank slate. But they, they won't accept the fact that Ruvik will get out as well. Or unless it's exactly what they want. But why Leslie? What makes him special? Leslie was not always like this. He became catatonic after a traumatic experience as a child. His family was murdered in front of him. The data would suggest that brainwave synchronization with Ruben correlates to specific trauma. In this case, Ruben's own loss of family. This will not do. We need something else at the core. Something more acceptable to a whole range of people. So it's like wiping, well, it's like changing that, isn't it? Mm. It's wiping the slate clean for this machine. Error. But that's why they're compatible, because they have the sim same trauma. Yeah. Surely Sebastian would be compatible, though. He had the same trauma. But not when he was young. Uh... I'd imagine that's got an, a compound effect of some sort. Oh, I don't like this. Oh. They grow impatient with our progress. 
and demand briefings on the development process. At first stressing the results, but now they work off a timeline based on their needs. Typical bureaucrats. I've been pushing Reuben, but he's retreated further, doing his research at home and refusing to come to the lab unless it's directly working on our STEM prototype. I am feeling uneasy, and no doubt Mobius is looking on us with question. Hmm, this is when things were getting questionable for him. It's weird that the um, timeline is sort of going backwards in terms of these notes. Yes, because they started going forwards, like what happened to Ruvik and everything, and now, like you said, they are going backwards, but I think it's where we pick them up. Yes, Almost yes. relates to where they are in the story. This is a creepy surrounding. Everything is a creepy surrounding here at <laughs> the minute. Oh. We need someone rational inside STEM. Potentially that person could neutralize Ruben. I mean, Ruvik. With my knowledge of the system, I may be of some... Absolutely not. We can't afford you complicating this any further. We will prepare one of our own. Sending someone inexperienced, we... We can't even be sure they can come back. Then it will need to be someone... Expendable. <gasps> expendable. So that's how you see me. Whoa. And I trusted you. <laughs> oh, what's he done? That was scary, wasn't it? What's he done? What's he changed? Why is everything murky? So we were seen as expendable. And rational enough to destroy Ruvik. Oh. That was gross. Is that going to be us in the basin? I don't know. I thought I thought there'd be a thing. Mm, I'm confused as to why this room exists if I can't mm. interact with anything. Maybe there's something out there that we need to do. Hmm. Is the smoke gathering anywhere else? Oh, this is starting to look like one of the places that... Chainsaw Man was? Hmm. Is this where Sebastian started off? Yeah. Okay, now the smoke might be in the other room. Yeah. Yeah, of course it is. now. Oh. Where is he? We know exactly who lives here. Can you go behind the curtain? Oh. <laughs> Lights on. No, oh. this is a puzzle. There it is. Hmm? It's on that wall. Which is one? it? Oh no, that's just blood. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. It's just blood. More blood. Does this scare you? It's just, um, it's reminding me of how I felt when I first started playing this game. We need to find the switches. Is that on the floor? It must be in the same room. It's usually not far from where we start. No, maybe it's in that group. Is it back here? Well, I don't think he's around. That's it. Oh, that, that's Makes a hard... Makes a fall. Okay, yeah. You were quite close. <laughs> I 
Um, how does it kind of look? It you said it made a um, put one underneath. It was, it was three. Oh, uh, take down that. Oh, yeah, that, that one. one. I can't remember what it looked like now. I remember looking at it and thinking four. Yeah. And one is a gap, so it's L and a line with a gap. This is a horrible place. This really is. But I think it's just the whole... Oh, I already have an axe. Why don't any of these crates have ammo in? It's like, um... Go right a minute. You know where we saw the thing? Mm-hmm. Uh, can you go underneath there? Oh, just hit the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> just attack them. God, I feel excited. I'm under the stairs. I'm the is monster. Is this a hidey hole? No, it's not really a hiding place, is it? Oh, I wonder why they put that there. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, they definitely put this here to scare us. Sebastian was here? Can yes, see, yes, he was. Can you see Chainsaw Man? No. no. But I don't like the fact that we're following in his footsteps. She's kind of come to like Sebastian, hasn't she? Though there's no trip wire, because. It's already been tripped. Because where is he? He's not dead, Chainsaw Man, because Sebastian faces him off again, doesn't mm. he? Don't weigh yourself out. What were you running from, Sebastian? <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not doing this. <laughs> what, uh, reliving the madness? Yeah, I don't really like... I don't really want to go things. across here because I know that they activate, unless she's actually going to be able to make it mm. to that door at the other end. They're alive! I think it's their scares. Maybe this thing's behind them. No, it looks like just a wall behind him. Okay. So this is where Sebastian didn't reach. Oh, <laughs> I don't like the nostalgia. Or the fact that the nostalgia is taking us somewhere new. What is Mobius doing? Do whatever you want. You're not going to stop me. It's getting all sorts of trippy. This is where we started off, pretty much. Yeah. We've kind of run full circle. <sighs> Into the vent. Both like shot. I'm yeah. shot. I'm, I'm just really tense. I'm just kind I'm of. I'm really tense. You didn't even look. Oh. He's got a shotgun. And I have a handgun with no ammo. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got an axe, so if you catch him unaware. Yeah. Question is, where's he gone? Look, there's another axe there as well. Yeah. God, we've got loads of axes. They obviously want us to be doing some stealth killing here. Mm. But where have they made him go? Do they have bottle? I'm no. not sure. I, I wouldn't really stay there. There he is. We don't know what else is in this room, though. What? Uh, oh my. There's no way I just got a shotgun. <laughs> there, there is no way that right. she would have been able Enough to do that. Of this shit. 
You got oh, it out of But how cool was Kidman? She was very cool in that particular moment in time. She was like, enough this shit. Right, so I've got There's a hand a bottle up. there as well. Right, there was an axe here. And may I just say, he like turned around and shot her with a shotgun, which completely missed her. Yeah, they, the, well, we just know that if this was, I remember where we are, we are yeah, literally no. backtracking because I remember that room there. I, I remember just, to I go forward that way. Take the bottle too. Is the zombie still in there? <laughs> no. <laughs> I have a shotgun, but I'm going to go in here armed with a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> You have to shoot the red thing though, don't you, with the shotgun? The red thing? On the door. Ah, yes. What's in there? Zombies. Zombies Two. eating. So if you want to hide and shoot, and try and stealth them. No, they've seen you. Got three bullets, make them count. Oh, how rude. Ah! Oh, no. You got beaten by old ladies. <laughs> Look, they were red old ladies. <laughs> <laughs> They've been sunbathing. <laughs> they were red and sore and enraged. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We're going to leave this episode here. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next episode. Until then, bye.